David, for the movie, uh, The Dark Knight, you mentioned that you wanted to make, you, you were not trying to make a great comic book movie, you were trying to make a great uh, movie, and you did. It actually, on opening day, grossed over $66.4 million opening day. What are your goals for um, The Unborn? I think The Unborn, my goal is just to make a scary movie, uh -huh. honestly. I mean, you make a horror film, you want it to be scary, you make a comedy, you want it to be funny, uh -huh. and... Uh, I think everybody just likes a good scary movie. Now, scary movies are difficult, especially ghost stories. And you've been very vocal about um, the lack of um, scary movies, especially in the last 20 um, years. Tell me, what did you do to make um, The Unborn scary? I think, I think that movies tend to be scarier when you care about the characters. Okay. So first and foremost, I think you have to, and I, I also think the scarier films are the ones that are more realistic. Yeah. So I tried really hard in the first act to have the audience care about Casey, okay. to have them like Casey. Okay. Because if they don't care or like her, then they don't care what happens to her, then they're not going to be scared for her. Okay. So I think that's really important. Looking to the movies that I really cared about that scared me, you know, Rosemary's Baby, The Exorcist, more recently, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, mm -hmm. y you know, you're really rooting for those characters yeah. to, you know, survive this situation. Yeah. What are you doing, Maddie? Keep looking. Keep looking. Maddie. Maddie, stop that. You have to go away. Maddie! Jumbie wants to be born now. Um, you also talked about there are two types of writers. Yeah. Can you explain to our viewing audience what, um, what you meant by that? And Look, what kind of writer are you? This is just my personal theory, I mean, okay. take it for what it's worth, but I think that there's two types of writers. I think there's one type that will come up with a character first mm -hmm. and create the character mm -hmm. and then create a situation around that character. And then I think there are other writers that are more situational that will come up with a situation and then put those characters in it and find the characters while they're writing. And I'm definitely the latter. I'll come up with a situation and then the characters will come to life as I'm doing it. And then sometimes you'll go back and change the situation a little bit after that. Okay. Talk about um, the shooting uh, of the Eli uh, scenes, because I was actually scared. I was shocked, terrified, Good. and scared. Good. <laughs> um, the, the child and the old man. But talk about how you, uh, you actually filmed uh, some of his scenes in particular. Well, w one of the things we tried to do were uh, just subtle things that would make you know, the audience uh, be uncomfortable. So one of the things that we did is we had some of the times when the characters were possessed, we had them perform their actions backwards, but then we actually filmed that backwards as well, and then we reversed the film. They're moving forwards, but the center of gravity is off a little, and so you can't quite put your finger on it, but they're moving in a way that just doesn't seem right. Yeah. And that's one of the things we did with the character of Eli. Okay, okay, well, last question, and yeah. totally different topic. Um, yes, you are from Michigan, and yes. i to be exact. Uh, yesterday, uh, the government actually um, approved $14 billion in bailout for um, the auto industry. How scary is that, and what are your thoughts? Very scary. I mean, <laughs> uh, growing up, lots of friends of mine, their parents worked in the auto industry. Yeah. Michigan really relies on it, yeah. and uh, if those go under, uh, a lot of people are going to be out of work. Very, very scary. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot.